But understand this is very important. That in respective of what you see around you, God's masterpiece is that you become better in life. Is that you become better in your day-to-day life activity. Hear me, Jesus was born poor. But he never had poverty mentality. He was born in a manger. That was circumstantial problem. That was the problem of his father and his mother, earthly. The Bible said there was no place in the inn and they retired back to a manger and there Jesus was born. But to disclose God's unending revelation about prosperity in chapter 2 of the book of Matthew. Let's see in verse 5. Matthew chapter 2 verse 5. The Bible says, wise men from the east, where you see wisdom, you see wealth. Solomon was wealthiest because he was the masterpiece of wisdom. If you want to know the glory of Solomon's wisdom, study the book of Proverbs. Now in chapter 2 of Matthew, verse 5, And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, For thus it is written by the prophet, let's go very fast, verse 6, And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the least among the princes of Judah. Now do you remember that Judah is the smallest, is one of the smallest tribes? But God decided to decorate Judah. Can I prophesy to someone here? I don't care where you came from. Where you came from ended when you met Jesus. You didn't hear what I just said. Where you came from ended when you met Jesus. I come with an anointing greater than yesterday. To put the full stuff to where you came from. And to open you to a new chapter of where God is taking you to. Can I tell you ladies and gentlemen. I see angels dragging you to the place where God has planned for you. Nigeria's situation cannot stop you. Marriage cannot stop you. Situations cannot stop you. If you believe that, hit your feet on the ground and shout, Yes! Verse 6, And thou Bethlehem, Verse 6, back to verse 6, And thou Bethlehem, Back to the previous verse, In the land of Judah, And not the least among the princes of Judah, For out of thee shall come a leader, Which is called governor. Do you see that? A leader, a governor, That shall rule my people. Somebody shout yes. Verse 7. Then Herod, when he heard, privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. Hear me? The star was there. Nobody saw the star. Wise men saw the star. From where? Wise men from the east. Everybody got a star. But this is not where I'm heading to. But let me show you something. The next verse. Verse 8. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me a word again, that I may come and worship him. The next verse. Also, when they had heard the king, they departed and lowered the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, mm, till it came and stood over where the young child was. The next verse. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Verse 11. Listen, listen. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasuries, they presented unto him gifts. And he started from the greatest. Gold. What? Frankincense and man. Why did they do that? They, they are telling you that this guy can be, may be born poor, but his description is not poverty. I did tell you that poverty makes you to commit more sin. It's true. It's a fact of life. You may be poor, but remove poverty mentality because one way of working out of poverty is to eliminate poverty mentality. Only a fool riding on motorbike we insult a man cruising a jeep because both of you are moving 